Hey, so last time we went over the basic mother interface and I showed you how to do some very simple stuff of triggers, slices, buttons and timers. This time we'll get into doing more advanced aliases. So to recap on what we did yesterday, we created a simple alias with any name I want. We gave it a pattern, which has to be inside the caret and the dollar sign, and we put in something for substitution say hello. So we created this alias last time and when we would type in sh it would say hello. Let's give it a try it now. sh it does work. Now last time we skipped over this big white script box. This time we'll get to it and we'll conquer it. Now how to think of this script box is I tend to think of it as an artist canvas. It's white, it's blank, and you can do anything you want and you can create great things in it. So that's what we'll do today. For our first thing we'll do is we'll replicate our substitution line right here in our script box. Now the way the script box works is that if you want to do something, use functions. So for example in here we want to send something to the mud, we'll use the send function. Send. You type in functions like this. You type the word and then you put in two brackets. Now, the send function by alone won't do anything because it doesn't know what to send. Because we want to send some text, we will put in double quotes and we will put our text inside it. Whoops, bad link. Say hello. There you go. Now we can delete this. So now our this send function will send say hello. In fact, it'll do the same thing as our substitution, but let's say that, test it out. SH and it sent hello. There we go. So right now, it did the same thing you wanted to do. If we want to send hello, and we also want to do an emote hi, we'll just type send hi. So now one alias will do two things for us. Hello, and we did the emote hi. Now. Next, let's cover wildcards. Wildcards are something you use if you want to give your allies some more information. For example, let's say we want to send, well, let's say we want to say hi to somebody. So we'd say send hi, but now right here we we'll have to fill in that somebody with a name. I will do that is we'll go back to a pattern, we'll press space, and we'll put this symbol in. Two brackets, a dot, and an asterisk inside it. So you see bracket, dot, asterisk, and then closed comma. This is a cheap way of doing things, and it's probably the most easiest. So now when we type our alias, we'll type sh, and then instead of this, we'll type in some name that we want to use. Now, how does this translate to our send alias? It translates by, at first we'll close the quote, to close the text, and now we want to get this little part into here, right? So what we'll do is put two dhammas, two dots, one, two, and now we'll put matches, two. I'll explain over what matches is later, but let's test it out first. Save it. And now I type sh bob. And we did hi bob. You see right here. Let's change our site hi to say hi. So it's more visible. Hey, look, we said hi bob. If we type sh sally, it says hi sally. So now what happened? I'll explain over what I did. In the pattern, this little thing means that it can take anything, any word or number or text. And in our send function, this, these little two dots means that you want to put something together. If you wanted, for example, if I wanted to say send hi and I want to put another text in here, hello, I put in two dots right here, save it, and now I do a send hi, then I'll 
add these two together to have a hello and then I'll say whatever I want. For example, SH Sally said hi, hello, Sally. So that's what these two dot me do. They concatenate things together. And now matches two. Matches two is actually a table that contains all matches that we had right here. They start counting from two. So remember that. If you want to use this little first thing right here, you put in a two right here. If, for example, we put in one or more of these right here, and we save it, and we want it to be displayed right here, we'd have to put in one more of these. Matches three. Three. To correspond to the second one here. For example, let's save it. Now we say SH Sally Bub. And it says hello Sally Bub. Hi, hello. Sally went here. Bub went here. Because it was ca 